Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening and thank you for joining us on 7 at 7. I'm Renee Summerauer. We begin with top stories sponsored by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A Southwest Airlines flight caught fire late Sunday night and was forced to make an emergency landing at Harry Reid International Airport. Airport officials said that a small electrical fire broke out on the plane, which left Denver bound for San Diego. According to Southwest, a crew inspected the plane after it landed and found no evidence of significant heat, smoke or fire. The flight took off again about an hour later and none of the 88 people on board were injured. A man who police said drove 135 miles per hour in a 35 zone told an officer he thought someone was following him. 22-year-old Saray Luster was driving a white Lamborghini east on Star Avenue towards Bermuda Road at around 10 p.m. on November 16th. Police say after they activated lights and sirens, the Lamborghini ran red lights and continued driving more than 100 miles per hour over Interstate 15 before getting stuck in traffic. Luster is due in court December 18th. A vehicle struck and killed a pedestrian Sunday night in northwest Las Vegas. At around 9 p.m., a vehicle struck a man as he walked in the roadway on Rancho Drive near U.S. Highway 95 on-ramp. He died at the scene. And two people died in a single vehicle rollover crash on Interstate 15 near Mesquite Sunday night. At around 7.15 p.m., a vehicle headed south on I-15 at mile marker 105 lost control, rolled over and struck a median. The two people in the vehicle died at the scene. And police say a California man sped almost 40 miles per hour over the speed limit on his way to a wedding chapel. On November 13th, around 3 p.m., 41-year-old Mark Ariola drove near Valley View Boulevard and Ponderosa Way at 91 miles per hour in a 35 zone, according to Metro. Ariola said that he was driving back to California when he realized the chapel he and his wife got married the day before had charged him extra money. He's due in court January 18th. The man killed outside of a shopping mall last week was not a retired CIA agent, but a computer systems engineer who had done work with the agency, according to his wife. 69-year-old Robert Hoy was shot in the Arroyo Market Square Mall parking lot. He was mistakenly identified as a retired CIA employee by a friend interviewed by the Review Journal. Hoy's wife said the mix-up was likely because her husband liked to talk about the places he had visited while working with the CIA. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Mostly clear skies and calm winds are in your forecast for tonight. Lows around 39 degrees. For the rest of the week, sunny to mostly sunny skies with calm winds. Daytime highs will stay in the low 60s until about Friday when temps will decrease even more to the upper 50s for daytime highs. A slight chance of rain is also in the forecast for this week projected for Thursday into Friday. Mostly clear skies to partly cloudy skies for your evenings with lows in the upper 30s. In business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, when resorts employees didn't get paid by direct deposit on time on Black Friday because of an issue with Bank of America. A spokesman for WIND said that as of 2.30 p.m. Friday, all deposits were received and processed. A memorandum dated Friday to WIND employees for the company's payroll department said it was, quote, disappointed. Representatives of B of A did not return calls or emails about the matter or if direct deposit problems were more widespread. And apartment rental rates in Clark County dropped this year, but 2024 will likely be another story. According to data from the Nevada State Apartment Association, the average rental price for a one-bedroom apartment in Clark County right now is around $1,400, a 1.6 percent drop from last year with vacancy rates on the rise. However, forecasts predict rent will slowly start to rise sometime in 2024. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. Despite losing to San Jose State in the last game of the regular season, UNLV will host the Mountain West Championship game this week against Boise State. The Rebels lost 37-31 Saturday at Allegiant Stadium. UNLV football finished with a 9-3 record and in a three-way tie with the Broncos and Spartans for first place in the conference. UNLV did not play Boise State this year, and the teams have not played since 2019 at Sam Boyd Stadium. The Mountain West Championship game kicks off at noon this Saturday.
In health news sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. The Down Syndrome Organization of Southern Nevada held its 35th annual Festival of Trees and Lights Gala over the weekend at Westgate. The two-day event started Saturday with a viewing of all of the decorated trees and guests bid on the 30-plus trees, wreaths, and gifts on display for auction. Most, if not all, our trees are designed, decorated by members of the community. In fact, I am so proud to say that our members from Down Syndrome Organization designed seven of the trees. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Oregon opened as a seven and a half point favorite over Washington at the Westgate Superbook in Friday's Pac-12 Conference Championship game at Allegiant Stadium before the line shot up to nine and a half. The total is 66 and a half. Boise State opened as a three-point favorite over UNLV in Saturday's Mountain West Conference title game at Allegiant Stadium before the line dipped to two and a half. The total is 58 and a half. Georgia is favored by five and a half over Alabama in Saturday's SEC Championship game. In entertainment news, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Review Journal's John Katzlamitas has some exciting news on prop comic Carrot Top. Scott Thompson as Carrot Top is a hit on the Las Vegas Strip. That has been known for quite some time and it's going to be known for a lot more time too. Thompson has just signed a deal that will extend his residency at Atrium Showroom through 2030. And to celebrate his 18th anniversary, which was last Wednesday, Sebastian Bach of Skid Row showed up to sing 18 and Life. The crowd went nuts and they usually go nuts for the great prop comic. High Rollers can now enjoy a new table game lounge. Henderson's Green Valley Ranch Resort Casino opened its new High Limit Lounge this week. It features 10 table games, including Single Zero Roulette and High Limit Blackjack. The luxury bar has 10 bar top games and a specialized cocktail menu. Before you go, Southern Hills Hospital organized a special Thanksgiving photo shoot featuring the adorable newborns and babies from the neonatal intensive care unit. These little bundles of joy dressed up as turkeys and other Thanksgiving treats are sure to bring a smile to everyone's face. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. We'll be back here tomorrow for more. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.